55 Slate Team. It's your boy Andy and welcome back to the DeFi Slate YouTube channel. Smash the like button on this video that really helps us out and sit back and enjoy the content. Thank you very much. Welcome to Trader Joe. Trader Joe is, well as advertised, the one-stop shop decentralized trading on Avalanche. And in this video, what we're gonna show you is how to earn yield on Trader Joe, what some of the best options are, um, the, best, the best ways to stake, trade, um, and get into Trader Joe's pools, um, how you can use this um, basically to, to, to farm. I mean, this is what this video is about, is we're gonna show you guys how you can farm on Trader Joe. So when you come to TraderJoe.xyz or xyz.com, what you're gonna come to is a page that looks just like this. Um, it has these tabs up front uh, as well as down here. You know, it's kind of got the gainers and, um, you know, the options. So obviously you, on Trader Joe, you can trade. Um, the cool part about Trader Joe is it actually shows you the chart. So if you wanted to know what the price of, of AVAX is, um, you know, it'll actually show you this on a daily chart, on a weekly chart, right? So it's really cool in, in that way that it shows you kind of, you know, how, uh, how, how the charts look um, on the actual platform itself. Um, so this is a Trader Joe chart. And um, this is shown on, this is the AVAX USD ch USDT chart. And yeah, so this is where you guys can trade on Trader Joe. Um, super simple. They have the list of all these tokens here. The reason why these are .e is just because they are bridged tokens, meaning like they came over from the Avalanche Bridge. That's why they're, you know, .es. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's like the number one thing that a lot of people do is trade on Trader Joe. If, if you come down to the analytics tab, you can see all the volume and how, you know, what the, you know, what the liquidity has done, what the pools have done, um, you know, all these reward pools, etc. And here you can see kind of the pools that you're looking at. So in order to get to the pools, you just go. So you, first, you're going to want to get half and half of each asset. Right. And then you can go to pool. Um, and you can see all of the pools that are available, the respective APRs. Um, some of these are really quite nice with the AVAX USD pairs, ETH AVAX, um, you know, MIM AVAX is, is, is a really nice one right now. And you come here, you can see all of these pairs as well, um, you know, in, in real time. These are also really nice stable coin yields, um, earning, you know, up almost 20% on just stables. Uh, that's, that's really quite good. Um, and so yeah, this is this is the the analytics tab that, that shows you what uh, the what the uh, pools are giving. Now the really interesting part that you're, that you're gonna want to come to is the farm. So this is called Joe Rush, uh, and this is where you can get some really good APYs. So um, well, they call it APRs here. The difference is APY is compounded over, uh, you know, just consistently compounded, whereas APR is not. Um, and so yeah, what what we're looking at here is these are the main farms that are earning Joe and AVEX. You got the Joe rewards here as well as the AVEX rewards here. So, you know, if you're in any of these pools, awesome, great job. You're earning really nice yield. Um, and the I think one of the most interesting parts about this entire platform is all these tokens, all this yield is paid out in Joe, as you can see, Joe token. So there's quite a bit of emissions on the Joe token. But what you can do is once you get the Joe token, you can actually come to this pool and stake it in the X Joe tab. Um, and so basically it shows you what the, what the APR is. Um, and yeah, you earn the fee um, basically for every swap it's used to collect and buy back Joe. Um, they buy, that, that, that happens every 24 hours. Um, and your X Joe is actually continuously compounding. So yeah, this is a really interesting idea. Um, and once you have your Joe staked, you can actually view your, your stats and the and the APR. And again, here it, it actually shows you what the APR is and APY is. As you can see, the APY is just always a little bit higher as it's compounded. Um, and you can see the fees. Excuse me, you can see all the Joe staked, the harvested. You can see the trend here as well, guys. We're clearly in a move, I mean, just continuously up. Um, as you can see with higher highs and, and higher lows here on the on the Joe kind of farming um, realm. So um, this is a really thing, cool thing. So what you can do is you can farm here at these APYs and you can actually go ahead and stake it into here. And then once you actually have X Joe staked, the really cool part is you can come and bring it into Joe Lend or Banker Joe. Um, this is a really cool place because you also earn both Joe and AVEX rewards. Um, and there's some pretty decent APYs here on some stables, um, on some, you know, on ETH, on, on AVEX, and you can actually borrow against your assets here as well. Um, so you can bring your ex Joe in here, 
deposit it, and then you can borrow against it, buy more extra, you can go ahead and take these stables uh, that you're getting at. So it's it's it costs you 13% to borrow, but you're getting paid almost 5%, so that's about 8%. And then you can come back up here and see that you can get um, – 17%. So you can make 9% on the difference, uh, basically with a, like free 9%. Uh, and you're also earning on that Joe. So you can you can stake your ex-Joe here. You can borrow against it. Nothing too crazy. I wouldn't go over like 25% borrow limit, maybe 50% if you're really feeling it. Um, but, but what you can do is then come and use your borrowed assets uh, into pools like this one and basically get that free arbitrage yield of, um, you know, of in this case, it would be... 8% in this case, closer to like 10% or, or 11%. So um, that is the lending uh, protocol. Again, like pretty good yield on AVAX. I mean, earning earning over 10% on AVAX while you're holding it, especially while it's been going up, has been solid. Same thing with ETH. Earning 4% on it w while it's flexible is really solid. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool platform. Um, you know, and you're, you're no longer getting paid to borrow. That was once happening. Um, but it's okay because the the rates are still you know pretty decent as far as uh, as far as the the borrowing goes. You can see the liquidity. You guys want to choose more more liquid assets, not the not the less liquid ones. Although Dai is more decentralized, if you will, the liquidity could be a problem with you if you're trading with size. Um, so we're just gonna make sure that that happens, and you guys make sure that you guys use the uh, the very illi uh, very liquid pairs. So you can actually zap your current tokens to LP tokens. So like, let's say for example, we wanted to zap USDT into Joe USDT pair. You can actually go max and then it'll literally zap you from this right into this pair, which this pair is already earning yield at the, at the rate of 132%. So you can literally come in here and and zap your USDT without having to do the swaps and the half and half and all that stuff. And you can literally zap straight from, um, you know, straight from whatever you're holding right into the LP position. So that's really cool as as well. Um, you know, and, and I think that's something to to you know check out. Um, where you can see the price of Joe token and all that stuff is you can see it on Charter.io. This is a really good site for avalanche charting. Um, it's gonna help you to basically. Uh, look at and and monitor the price of these avalanche assets um, So yeah, you can see against AVEX. It's kind of been dropping down a bit It had a nice little run up until two days ago and now it's kind of pulling back and really you can see anything here so um, you can see Joe USDC I think it's just right under four dollars now So yeah, it had a nice run all up, up to almost five and then you know quite the pullback almost 30% pullback so far um, so you know that's been pretty hefty and uh, you know we'll kind of see how this how this um, you know pans out. We've seen a lot of a lot of there's, a, there's obviously a lot of emissions on this token, kind of like how, how Sushi does on Mainnet. Um, but we saw it hit all time highs and kind of you know you could you could argue that it broke all time highs and is basically retesting now. Um, so you know it's an interesting spot here for Joe. Interesting spot for the Avalanche ecosystem after the whole Suzu, you know debacle. Um, but yeah, there's some really nice yields here, guys, and I would pay attention to what is happening. The trends are just straight up, and um, yeah, it's it's definitely interesting to see. So that is Trader Joe at its core, what what, what you can do on there um, and how to use it. Obviously, the night mode is pretty cool too. So thanks for watching, guys.